<laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Sam Jam here, and um, today I'm going to bring you a video of an opening of Yu Gi Oh! newest um, speed duel structure deck, Destiny Master, which includes Maximilian Pegasus starter deck, Yami Pe starter deck, and the um, Ashizu starter deck. I bought this mostly because. I wanted the Ishizu card, mostly because I'm going to be building a Gravekeeper deck. Because I know they got new support in Soul Fusion, I'm pretty sure. And, um, also I'm kind of interested in this. Like, I'm wondering if they were willing to implement this into the game, how they will do it. Because right now, everything seems pretty normal, besides the fact of the, um, skill cards. I don't know how exactly that works, but, um... Seems like some of the skill cards are a little more complicated, and some of them are really just like they're basically co carbon copies of certain cards. So anyway, um, obviously I've already opened everything because um, I'm using my hand to hold up the camera, so mm -hmm. I didn't want to um, have to keep putting it down to open things up. But um, here's what you got. I got out of the promos. I'm not sure if they're different for everyone. I know they're probably different for, um, the Kaiba, Joey, and, um, my pack, but this is what you get, um, Shard of Greed. Shard of Greed pretty good, um, it's basically Pot of Greed, except you have to wait some turns and hope that it can survive that long. Then you got the Golden Apple, I don't know what this card does. And you take battle damage without your control, no monsters. Gain life points equal to the battle damage you took. And if you do Special Summon 1... Both token fiends are blah blah blah. If attack and defense are each equal to the amount of life points you gained by this effect. It's not that bad. And then we got this card. It's from Mimic Cat. If you control Tomb World and a tomb monster target one card in your opponent's graveyard, if it's a monster, special summon it to your side of the field. Or if it's a spell or trap card, set it to your field. That's actually pretty good that you can basically abuse um, cards in your opponent's graveyard to your advantage. That's pretty good. Alright, um, let's see what, one, what deck we want to do first. Let's do Yami's first. Yami's um, pretty standard if you know what the um, standard Yu-Gi-Oh! Yami deck is. But, um, these are the three cards that are new. The Power of Dark, which is basically a Yami, where, um, the effect that Fiend and Spellcaster Monsters gain 200 attack. And, um, Fairy Monsters lose 200 attack. So, basically, it's the Yami. Mm. Then we got Destiny Draw. If you lose 2,000 or more life points, you can activate skill during your opponent's turn or next draw phase. During the draw phase, you may search your deck for any card, reveal it to your opponent, add it to your hand instead of drawing if you do flip this card over. <laughs> well, wow, it's actually really good. Basically, you can just, like, search out any card. Too bad it's banned, but, um, I met a lot of beasts with, like, soul few um, Soul Charge. That'd be really crazy. Even Monster Reborn, I could see some abuse of that card. And then you got Final Draw. Final Draw is activate skill during your main phase once per turn during your turn. You may place a counter on this card, on this skill. If it had three or more counters, when you would draw a card, mm -hmm. you may search one or, or more counters when you would draw a card. You may search your deck and for any card and add it to your hand instead. Wow, actually really good. Like, some of these drawing cards, you know. And then everything else is pretty standard. You got Dark Magician, King of Feral Imp. Or Feral Imp, actually, just. Not sure why I've read that there. We got Rogue Doll. Got another rogue doll. Got the good old dark magician girl. Mm. 
Legion of the Fiend Jester. Another Legion. Got Stern Mystic. Sorry, my, my, my the Stern Mystic gun. My hand, my shadow is just basically um, covering it double constant. Blue Dragon Summer. Well, I actually look forward to this card. I want this card. So I was happy with that. Good old Thousand Knives. Mage's Stone. Dark Magic Tech. Ryuku. Ryuku. I think I'm pronouncing that right, but correct me if I'm wrong. Tribute Doll. Wonder Wand. That's pretty good. Wonder Wand is always pretty good. Light Force Sword. Magician Circle. And last but not least, um, Magic Jammer and Seven Tools of Bandit. Seven Tools of Bandit is a pretty good card. I think it's banned, but I'm not totally sure. Correct me on that. I'm pretty sure it's banned. <clears throat> Actually, no, it's probably not banned now that I think about it. I'm reading the effect. It's kind of the same thing as Psalm Judgment. For traps, you know. Alright, um, next. What do I want to move on to? Let's move on to the, um, Toon deck. Obviously, we got Toon World, which... This card basically Toon World. As its own card, but the, I guess it's a speed spell. Or speed... Yeah, speed spell or skill. Next, we got... Bind Scan... At the third turn, if your life points are 3,000 or higher, activate one of these skills. You may look at your opponent's mm. and set spell and trap cards at any time if your life points are dropped below 3,000 with this card. So basically, you get to basically peek, like, kind of like him in the anime where he just peeked at all your cards. So that's a little bit annoying, but um, I feel like the so far um the Yami skills are a little bit better because I feel like draw power is just definitely better than seeing what they got. Then you got Millennium Eye at the start of the duel. Look at your opponent's opening hand. You may choose to have that player shuffle their hand into their deck and draw a new hand. If both players use the skill at the same time, the turn. Player resolves your skill first. That's actually pretty good if you like. If they get a really good hand, you can just like redraw their hand, and basically, sometimes if you get lucky, you can have them brick. I remember um the first time I had the, the time mm -hmm. I had the explosive combo. It was not really that interesting because like I was gonna win anyway with that kind of combo because it's like a pretty good combo. But uh, I know he bricked, so that was pretty good. We got another Rogue Doll. Toon Alligator. Another Toon Alligator. Patriot. Parrot. Parrot Dragon. God, fuck. I can't do that. Dark Rabbit. Toon Mass Sorcerer. That's pretty good. Another Toon Mass Sorcerer. Kind of, I've never really um, got those cards, the Toon version, so... I know I have this card, but um, Toon Mermaid, pretty classic. Toon Summon Skull, Relinquished, yeah, the only card that probably kind of matter well in right now. <laughs> um, Black Illusion Ritual, I needed this actually if I wanted to build a Toon deck because I was going to build one, but I don't think I had a lot of Toon Table of Confidence, so um, God, my, my cards are kind of flying everywhere. But um, I was happy to get Toon Table of Confidence. We got Toon Rollback. Never heard of that card. We got good old Toon World. Another Toon World. We got Yami. Sword of Deep Seated. Toon Defense. Jar Greed, another classic. And Wild Tornado. Alright, that's it for the Maximilian Pegasus deck. Fit up all these cards, I'll fix them later.
And last but not least, we have the one that I'm most excited for is the Ashidu deck. We got pre science. Yeah, pre science, okay. The effect is in your opponent, light points more is more than twice your light points activate this skill. You may look at the top card of both your you and your opponent's deck at any time. That's pretty good, but, like, at the same time, you can't adjust them, so... I feel like, um... In maybe, like, Dark Position deck, even, like, Magic Circle, or even a Pot of Duality... Kind of does that job. But still a pretty good card. Next, we got Gravekeeper's Lot. If you lose 1,800 1, or more life points, you can activate the skill during your next draw phase. During your draw phase, you may search your deck for a Gravekeeper's card, reveal it in your opponent's, and add it to your hand instead of drawing. If you do that, flip this card. That's actually really good. That you can add a Gravekeeper's monster from your deck to your hand instead of doing your draw phase. And then you got Millennium Necklace. Which is, at the start of the opponent's turn, before they draw, you may act, look at the top three cards of the deck and rearrange them in any order. This skill can only be once per turn. Or once per duel, actually, God. But, basically, this is actually really good. Um, This would probably be like kind of like a... Mag magical Magician Circle, or a Magical Circle, in pretty much any deck, except you can only use it once, and it does not banish cards when you summon cards like that. Like, it'd be mm -hmm. cool if it banished cards when you summon Gravekeeper cards, kind of like Dark Magical Circle, but I guess it's not. But, um, this is more of the happy thing that uh, I'm gonna build a Gravekeeper deck, hopefully, so, um... Be sure to look at it. I might put out a profile of that. But um, next we got a couple of the Gravekeeper cards. Gravekeeper's Curse. Gravekeeper's Spear Soldier. Gravekeeper's Spear Soldier. Gravekeeper's Wrestle. Gravekeeper's Chief. Gravekeeper Cannon, sh ho cannon Holder. Uh, Gravekeeper's Assailant. Got two Assailants. One Gravekeeper's Priestess. Actually, two Priestess. And one Gravekeeper's Rooter. One Gravekeeper's Shaman. One Gravekeeper's Oracle. A Cat of Ill Amen. One Gravekeeper's Style or Steel. Hidden Temple to the Necro Valley. This is a new Necro Valley card that's pretty good, I hear. Sabox Blessings. Not sure I pronounced that right, even. We got Blast Held by a Tribute. Right of Spirit. And the Eye of Truth. So that's it for the little opening. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will probably put the. Link in the description for the last video where I did a giveaway of the, um, Save Deck box, except for the same speed, sorry, the Speed Dueling Doc box, but, except it contained, um, Joey, um, Joey, Kaiba, and Mai. So, be sure to watch the last video and see how you, um, can enter for that giveaway, so, um, be entered in to receive that thanks for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye